Hi everyone, welcome all of you on my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. And yes, Alhamdulillah, I am also good now. And I am very very sorry for the delay. I know uh, I'm I could not make video from long time. But uh, finally I came with new uh, video. I hope this video can be helpful for you. Because see, uh, it is almost, it have been two years uh, since we have joined in Cognizant and all the other folks we, who have joined uh, at the same time like me. So you can relate. So now maybe you might have also faced the same issue like uh, uh, your Cognizant asset, your laptop is not working properly and it is disturbing you to work order and also you want to uh, change your laptop you want to replace or uh, anything so in like whatever situation can be depending on your situation so in that case if you are willing to uh, replace your laptop or you don't know uh, the further process uh, because uh, see if your laptop is not working properly or you are getting any kind of uh, uh, difficulties to work in that like uh, hardware issue or software issue anything it could be so obviously you want some advice from the it infra, uh, support team so for that uh, uh, one option i will tell you each and every step whatever i have followed so that it can be useful for you so first you can connect you can talk to the uh, gsd team member by uh, calling number which i have uh, provided in my previous video too okay which is uh, for the global help desk number so you can uh, try calling on that and you have to wait for your number to come one is that but uh, it is less impactful you can uh, also what you can do like i was uh, my laptop you might have understood now my office laptop is not working properly so uh, i have to replace it now so i logged in this one cognizant portal in my personal laptop so i will show you what are the steps you can follow so after logging in here you need to first create a ticket through gst so, okay so you will just type it here gst then you can get this live support gst then uh, let it load yeah here you can see it infra support human resource it application support so depending on your situation you can go with that but like for the, the infra support you can see operating system hardware slash hardware so you can click here if you if your laptop is not working properly so here you can see many the default issues are already mentioned so you can read it and you can select anyone whatever you are thinking and if you get like no nothing is matching according to your scenario so in that case you can type your message here and then you can click here for the queries then you will get some answer all right or else you can just go back to tiles and again go system hardware and then i am facing license issue need status unable to log in my laptop desktop this was my issue i was not able to log in so you can just click it here and then you have to read all these currently log and may not log whatever situation you need to read it in whatever you are thinking is uh, okay matching then you need to click here in last you will get one option create ticket i will not create it because i have already created two three, three tickets for it so you have to uh, just uh, click on the create ticket then your ticket will be created and here only you will get message okay your incident number this and all so now the point is where can you see your ticket status and chat history chat history so whatever you have asked here you can see and uh, in the chat uh, sorry ticket status you can see here all the all the tickets whatever you have created so here if you will click show all tickets in past 90 days so you will be able to see list of the tickets whatever you have created and the recent one will be in the top of it so you can see the status from here whether it they uh, if once you will create 
okay so you don't have to wait that okay you will get a call or message in your phone or outlook something like that yeah in outlook obviously you can you will get a notification but you need to update your ticket status okay so what you have to do you have to click here ticket status and then you need to click here once you will click here uh, and uh, i mean uh, your on your ticket number then uh, you will get some update will be given there they might have replied you uh, with some resolution and uh, whatever the steps you can follow to fix the issue uh, something step by step that will be mentioned there from the team so you need to read out that carefully if you feel okay uh, after following those steps you are able to re resolve it fine then and if not then also you need to reply on that and then you need to reopen the ticket otherwise it will be showing here like this only resolved so you need to read and then you need to update the ticket and you have to click on reopen so that it will be again is in in progress status so they then they will reach out to you so what happened in my case uh, I reopened like that whatever I have mentioned and then I got a call from them and they connected on teams and then they uh, guided me to like uh, how to uh, they told uh, two scenario one if your laptop is not working so obviously you, uh, we have to go to office location I mean I have to go to office location for the repairment also if I want and for the replacement also if I want so it is uh, depending on you what you want according to your system functionalities okay so for both the ways uh, yeah if i don't want to replace suppose if you don't want to replace and you want to your this laptop only to get it uh, repaired so in that case they uh, told me that okay it will be they will be uh, forwarding that uh, incident to the hardware team because it support team is different infrastructure team is different application team is different hardware team is different 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 teams are there right and ticket status team is different so uh, then in that case your ticket will be forwarded to them and then that team will be connecting to you and guiding you that what you need to do further so that is a different thing in that case also you need to create one request and then you need to visit your office location uh, and uh, then they will uh, check your system because without if it is a hardware issue obviously they have to check without touching it can't be done but if it is an application issue or software issue then uh, and if you are able to open your laptop at least and your teams is working fine then in that case you can connect with them online and you will be able to share your screen so they can fix it that is the different thing all right so in now the uh, question is if you want to create a ticket uh, if you create a ticket means if you want to replace your old laptop so for replacing replacing means so then you need to create a release request like uh, you need to log in your service my service portal now you might be thinking how will you come on this page so see whenever you will open your laptop or your office laptop or uh, where you are working on which you are working so you will be getting be cognizant portal right so in the be cognizant portal in the second or third option second option i mean the thing my service portal option will be there so you have to just click there and then you will be redirected to this kind of page or else you can directly come with this link service now cognizant service now link so this link uh, they will only give you or you can also come uh, by searching on the be cognizant portal it will be given there all right so here in the search to request something here if you want to uh, i mean take a new uh, laptop then you need to find request okay. i have already created so i will not create it again i am just uh, trying to show you once okay so here you can see okay if you want to request laptop accessories or request laptop request laptop these things you can be confused but you don't have to confuse you have to click here only request laptop read more second option and suppose if you wanted to uh, don't uh, take a new one 
so see if you want to replace also then you need to create one request to get a new laptop and if you want to then in that case you need to give the submit the old asset then in that case you have to create a release request so similar way only in the uh, search bar you need to type release uh, laptop instead of request laptop you will have to type release laptop and then also you will come some this kind of page and according to uh, the option you need to click so this is the this is for the requesting a laptop new one then you need to click read more okay. is loading uh, yeah here what you have to do uh, for requesting a laptop see you have to read all the options carefully and fill it according to that so uh, in the project you need to give your project name so you you have to just click on the drop down and it will be auto selected uh, but also you can uh, uh, confirm from your timesheet if you are not remembering your project id or something so you can confirm from the esa timesheet or something so you will just click here then you will get it and you need to just select it then uh, once you will select your project name here then all will be selected automatically and you need not to change anything here all means some more options will be highlighted here like your project id and uh, project duration starting of the project those details okay related to project particularly then here in the image type you need to select cognizant only see when i clicked in the drop down i am able to get options right right so cognizant we are not client right so cognizant and with uh, similarly if you will click here also so you will get option of your project name and then you need to select it just okay okay um, and then choose the delivery option so easiest will be uh, in person pickup why because uh, in person pickup it will be more reliable if you can go and you can take and also uh, there then and there only you can check okay your new system is at least working properly or not all the setup is done or not and you are now work, able to work fine or not so all those system functionalities and all everything you can check obviously you need to uh, wait for some time and then it will be work so once you have you will click all these options then uh, your location also you need to click from here uh, you will get some options according to your base location so from here you have to select and uh, just uh, you need to give your uh, primary contact number email address and then purpose of the uh, this you need to give project requirement obviously okay project environment and uh, then your uh, old asset uh, details will also be showing here and in business justification you need to give see here you why i told you, you know, that you have to create one incident through gst and all because here it might be useful right so you can write here like uh, for an example um not able to uh, open or whatever your condition can be different uh, so to work in the my old laptop is not working so i'm not able to continue my work in this uh, and also you can mention the ticket number which we have created through gst so in addition to that you can mention that and then you need to click on submit so once you will click on submit then you will be uh, getting one option like uh, RITM number, request number will be created and then um, your project manager will be approving it. Project manager means don't come confused. Project manager, the person who is approving your ESA timesheet. See, the project timesheet will be approved by your another manager. Like uh, for me, uh, AIG is my project name. So AIG manager will be uh, the different one. And here you know, on the Cognizant timesheet, the uh, Cognizant manager is different one. So uh, what your manager will receive an email and, and you will be also included so you need to check your outlook you need to check your email uh, like uh, so that uh, there also you can confirm who will be approving but i'm sure uh, the, the person who is approving your esa times with cognizant one they he will or she will only approve okay so you can just ping the person ping your manager to approve it and uh, also you can verify on the outlook as well and then once your ticket will be approved then it will be uh, forwarded to the next uh, step next step i guess uh, uh, 
uh, it will be assigned to some person and uh, as that person inform me uh, that like uh, your slot timing and location will be booked and then you will get an email so according to that you need to go to the uh, office and you need to visit there as per the given time and date and then you need to do the further process further process means i need to get a new one and for the replace for the for submitting the old laptop i think uh, yeah i'm sure i have to similarly i have to create a request by mentioning like um, a release a laptop so yeah that's all i, I wanted to inform in this video I, I hope it will be might be helpful for you all and if you think it is so please let me know in the comment section and uh, yeah thank you thanks for watching and uh, let's meet in the next video and i'm thinking this was so fully cognizant related in the next video i am thinking to make a uh, videos on bpsc gre 2.0 i am also participant of that